Growing up, I always ate these uh, hard-boiled eggs that have been cooked in this uh, kind of tea marinade. And since um, you have to cook it in this tea marinade for so long, the yolk on the inside becomes super rubbery and super hard. And so for me, my ideal tea egg would be a runny yolk tea egg. And so I looked and did research into ways where I could um, do a Chinese tea egg but have the yolk still be soft and runny. And so what I settled on was a um, egg that I had to cook in three different stages. And so in doing that, I'm able to uh, have that flavor with the tea egg but still have the yolk run and that's uh, the biggest thing for me. Uh, everybody who's tried this tea egg dish has uh, really enjoyed it. Um, I think that this menu item might be a staple one for uh, quite a long time. <laughs> The dessert I serve right now is actually uh, a dessert I'm really, really proud of. It's a Thai basil ice cream. Um, so you have a Thai basil ice cream and underneath it you have uh, lemon curd. Uh, around the lemon curd you have some lemon gel and then you have some toasted coconut chips under there for a little bit of texture, but you have a micro Thai basil um, around it. And over the top of the ice cream you have some coconut powder. It's a powder that I've been able to make with uh, something called tapioca maltodextrin, which is a starch that kind of powderizes anything with uh, high fat. So I use coconut oil and mix it with uh, tapioca maltodextrin. And so it's going to be this really nice and light airy powder, but then once it hits your tongue, it turns right back into uh, coconut oil, so you get that flavor. It's finished with lemon zest, and around the dish you have some sable tuiles, just for some more texture. It's kind of my take on kind of like a lemon, uh, coconut, basil pie, and or tart, and so uh, that's just my dessert. <laughs>